Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. We're at the Flying Heritage Collection today at Payne Field in Snohomish County. And joining me right now is Larry Hansen, publisher emeritus for the Everett Herald. Thanks so much, Larry, Thank for coming you for on the inviting program. Me. It's such a pleasure to chat with you today. Thank you. May, very busy month in Everett as you all are set to celebrate a native son. Of course, yes. that being uh, Senator uh, Henry Jackson. Everyone referred to him as Scoop Jackson. Right. Tell us a little bit about the late senator. A lot of long, long list of accomplishments. We really need a half an hour, but, but give us a brief summary yes. of his accomplishments. Sure. He, I mean, he, he was just such an incredible, energetic person from the very beginning. Uh, at 26, he was elected as the Snohomish County prosecuting attorney, mm -hmm. tried a couple of big cases, and two years later, at 28, he was elected to the United States Congress. Wow, really and, is uh, I mean, so he had this incredible range of time through World War II, you know, during the Cold War, all of that. So that's sort of that, but that early beginning and his Scandinavian heritage kind of molded the kind of character he had. And that's the one thing that stood out most uh, in all the folks we've talked to preparing for the centennial is was his character mm. and how serious he was about his work and how dedicated. And dedicated uh, to civil rights as well. Very much. Civil rights. Uh, and he, he was the first environmentalist in Congress way back when it wasn't even a term. Mm. And he created the national parks, uh, the whole uh, act that created national parks. Wow. And uh, so that legacy. And he was, in his time, a very tough guy on defense. He was very strong and supportive of a strong defense. So he covered the whole gamut of, of, uh, of politics, really. And, and he's been recognized here. Of course, we've got the Jackson School of International Studies at yes. the University of Washington. Yes. Briefly, SeaTac Airport was named for him. And then yes. my understanding is the cities uh, wanted to revert back to SeaTac, more of a location marketing yes. thing. Yeah. Um, but certainly recognized, but as I said, Everett is, is set to recognize. And before we talk about specific celebrations, why is it important to recognize him? Well, uh, I think the, uh, I'm going to quote uh, something that uh, uh, the columnist uh, uh, George Will, mm -hmm. uh, who was a very conservative columnist sure. for the Washington Post, uh, five days after Scoop's death, wrote a column a very comprehensive column as a tribute to him. And he said in his final line, Scoop was the finest public servant I have ever met. Wow. Now that's praise indeed High praise. coming from George Will. But I think the, the, the reason to celebrate this is, uh, and the, the family, when they reached out to some of us uh, in the community to help make this centennial celebration happen, wanted to focus on what he brought to the table in the sense of, you know, of education and, and, and important issues, and that the next generation or two who don't know about Scoop Jackson could find out mm. about what, in my terms, a really excellent public servant is. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So we're, we're getting a little tight on time here. Okay. May 20th, the centennial event, that's the Jackson Bust Unveiling and Dedication yes. event. That's open to the public. Yes, it is. And then we've got three events on May 31st. Naval Station event at Jackson Plaza. That's invitation only. It's that's at Naval right. Station at, uh, Everett. And then also Everett Community College event at Jackson Conference Center. That's also on May mm -hmm. 31st. That is open to the public. And then the final one is the Jackson Centennial Celebration. That's at Comcast Arena, also open to the public. And that's where the family will be on that's hand. That's right, yes. And, and high, high uh, profile public figures from around the country will be there. And a celebrate. lot of photographs, oh, large yes. photographs yes. Yeah. Uh, showing it's him. It's going to be a great celebration in his hometown. Well, fantastic. Yeah. Well, a lot of events planned. I think I just mentioned uh, four, so three on the 31st and one on the 20th. Larry, thank yes. you so much for talking pleasure. to us about Scoop Jackson. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers.